Let's go. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol MMAT Meta Materia. So, this is a company that we'll cover here on the channel. Um, you guys know the history when they were merging with Torchlight. We talked about it here on the channel. Uh, the merger has come and gone, and now the company as uh, Meta Materia is trying to make some new moves. Uh, again, what we anticipated. So there's some news that I wanted to cover uh, in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Meta Material and Torchlight uh, actually merged, and I cover this uh, stock here on the channel from the day they announced the merger to the day that the merger, uh, the combination actually closed. And we were, uh, we went along for the ride and you guys, are, I mean, I kept bringing you updates as I, I, I found it fit. If there was any news, I'll make sure that we cover it here. And I told you guys that I'm big on Meta Materia. And the reason why I'm big on Meta Materia is because they're doing something um, that is gonna change uh, lives. They're doing something that's gonna change um, the way we do things. They're building, uh, the future in my opinion again if you don't invest in the future you wait to invest when it's already out there you're too late to the party so think about people that are invested in Google Amazon again like these early companies if you invested Facebook if you invested or Microsoft even when you invested in companies that were still starting out you got in at the very low price and when these companies got to the point where they start making good products and uh, selling and bringing in revenue you are sitting pretty good. So if you bought a stock at say $3 and it's now worth $300 or 350 bucks, that is a lot of money, a lot of return. So that's why I'm big on Meta Material. I just want to give you guys that context. Again, then a little bit of background. Again, Meta Material just went through a merger with Torchlight. Again, this is uh, something that I just concluded last month. And I told you guys um, exactly what I knew was going to happen. I said, you're going to see a push of Torchlight to the high side prior to the merger and even right at the day of the, the merger. And then after that, you're going to see what you call a merger, a post-merger slump. If, if you don't, if you don't understand what that is, means you haven't been paying attention on, on, on my videos because that's something that I really covered at nauseum here on the channel. I explained to you guys that when you see a merger, you're going to see the price of the stock based on the, the, the company. When they announce the merger, the price is going to spike. During the process where they're waiting for the merger to be completed, the price is going to stay flat. And then during uh, the closing days of the merger, the price is going to spike again. And then after the merger, you're going to see a slump. It's going to pull back really hard. And I talked about here on the channel, I told you guys that this is going to happen. Once the merger is over, you're going to see people are going to take profit. Um, people that are investing in the company, they're going to take their profit because of that spike. And then wait to buy back low or even take that profit to go invest in something else. And Meta Material and Torchlight were no different. What basically happened is that Meta Material, uh, Torchlight ran all the way to over $9.00. Um, after the merger and then pull back again we can jump in I'm gonna show you guys the chart and show you guys exactly what happened so again like I said Meta Materia is a company that I'm really big on and this is to me is the future if you can see read about it they are in every industry aerospace and defense um, automotive consumer electronics um, energy medical I mean most these are key Industries. It means look at this. Uh, they're talking about Lucky, Lucky Martin working with them. To me, this is the future. They are building technology, uh, building materials that uh, would power our uh, industries in the future. So I really, um, I'm big on this company. I, I love the company. Um, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm holding my shares long term. I don't plan on selling them. So the news that I wanted to bring to you guys here is that Meta Materia again has um, agreed to acquire another uh, company called Nanotech. So um, I don't want to go, you can, I'll put the links in the description. You can read the details of the transaction, but basically Meta Material would acquire Nanotech for uh, the price of $1.25 per share. Um, why that's important for people that are invested in Nanotech is because if you go here, look at Nanotech, Nanotech closed um, August 6th at uh, 93 cents. So if you run that up 94 cents, so that, but if you own Nanotech, you're going to be getting a dollar 
25 that's premium so i just want to point that out but again this is excellent news i like the fact that they're positioning themselves as a big company and they're bringing in other um uh, you know companies that would give them a better footprint so again if you look at this what nanotech does nanotech is the leader in the development of secure and visually memorable nano optic security features used in the government and um, banknotes and brand protection market so i mean again you can see here this is a company that's doing stuff that it's already uh being used um as in, as important as in government and banknotes so if we jump here again this is nanotech again i'm gonna put the links here go to this website definitely just read about them see what they do so if you read and understand what these guys do and you see that their combination with uh meta material really does make sense you can see here that um meta material is currently trading at about three dollars and thirty cents so let's go back and read and just do a little bit of history here so you guys can actually see um this the, again this is meta material guys so it's gonna be a little bit confusing i'm gonna do six months here just so you see it's gonna be a little bit confusing because uh meta material and uh torchlight actually merge so but the the the, the, the whole background here is that prior to that merger you saw we saw torchlight skyrocket to over nine dollars and then after the merger it pulled meta material the company pulled back down to under um actually under three dollars which is kind of crazy and i told you guys this so if you were not prepared for this um that's on you because at least i try to make sure to remind you guys every time that this post merger there's always a slum in the stock they take a bidding so always secure that profit if you want to get back in you can turn around and get back in so um that's it uh, for this particular video guys basically what i wanted to point out to you is that um meta material is in the process of expanding they're bringing in new acquisitions and again from what we see here they're buying nanotech which is kind of a, a company that produces securities for governments and bank notes which i like the fact that they're bringing in and expanding their footprint and uh, really exposing their market so I, I like that in my personal opinion so uh what do we expect from meta material going forward guys meta material to me is a long-term play so when this thing pulled back if you see this thing under three dollars just buy it hang on to it and the reason why i, I say buy and hang on to it is because companies like this once you don't get in early uh, tomorrow you see them skyrocket and then you start beating yourself but like oh i wish i had bought this when it was this 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 uh cheap so make sure that when you put um in investments in companies like this that have these long-term plans put that money and just let it ride and walk away and come back and you're going to come back maybe after two or three years and look at this and be like whoa i didn't see this coming yes if you knew what you were doing you would have anticipated that because that's what i'm anticipating here i'm anticipating that this is going to be massive in the future so i'm putting money on it and i'm not worrying about it so again i'll keep buying the dip when i see this thing under three dollars I still pick up some shares, um, continue to pick up those shares as as we go. So that is my plan well, with this particular one. So there you go, guys. Meta Material and uh, Nanotech are actually a good marriage, in my personal opinion. And I see this really expanding the footprint for Meta Material. Again, this is not going to really push the price of the stock to, say, 4 5 6 or $7. But again, I like the fact that they're expanding their footprint and definitely um, getting more market shares based on that. So that's why. So definitely do some research. If you don't currently have Meta Materia, to me, it's a long-term play. And the reason why I like this is because these are companies that are developing what I'll call the future. They're developing materials that we, we would use in the future that would service industries of the future so i like that kind of play because in two or three years when they start actually um putting stuff in the market and all these companies are buying their products and selling or whatever you start to see those gains that you're gonna beat yourself up because you miss out on the opportunity again look at a simple company like like i said uh riot which is a uh, mining company this company started at under uh, a dollar and then now trading at over 34 dollars and it's like if you had gotten in at that time you would have been sitting pretty good but if you didn't believe in bitcoin you probably didn't believe in mining which means you didn't invest in it so again i'm just trying to give you guys kind of a mindset the way you should look at investing for me i look at it as i look at what it's going to change the way we do things 
to me, what are those companies? What I mean, the future is green energy. Um, so we're talking about electric cars. So I'm going to invest in that space. Electric cars are, are powered by uh, lithium batteries for the most part. So I'm going to find some lithium stocks and, and invest in them. I'm looking at when these cars get old, what happened to that lithium battery? Oh, we can recycle it. So I'm going to find companies that recycle lithium and invest in them. So that if you guys can see the mindset, that's how you should think as an investor. Um, again, in between that, you can think as a trader and take advantage of some news and some stuff that happens in between and make some quick profit before long term. That's how you're supposed to be thinking and not buying when it's already made its name and it's up there and then you jump in. Yeah, you might get a little bit of ride, but if you bought it down here, you'd be in a good place. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this news for Meta Material. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated